What is up, guys? Welcome to another video. So, Fedora 34 coming out very, very soon. It's going to have GNOME 40, which is going to be great. And let's try to just jump into the installer here and take a good look at, well, everything, I guess. And we do want to accelerate 3D graphics. I'm going to hit this and hit finish and let it pop up. Usually I tried to change to UEFI, but instead I won't. And hopefully I just didn't hit test this ISO because if I did, I'm going to be so mad. Um, so what we're going to be doing is just going over what is Fedora 34 first. And I did hit check disk. That shouldn't be first, but it's going to boot right in. Fedora 34 is coming up with a lot of features. Default is Pipewire. Uh, default is GNOME 40. There's a uh, new kernel, things like that. But... I want to check if the installer has changed at all because uh, some people are actually tired of that installer. And we're going to just go straight up from, you know, 1990s to at least uh, quite a bit away here. So, boom, we're good to go. So, standard, as I said, GNOME 40 gonna look at more of that when we get into everything well i don't even think we need to install it to do that do we no we don't we can just try it out so actually we're gonna hit quit because the installer is the exact same as it was before so gnome 40 smooth as butter um really smooth even without video acceleration it's it's killer it is um cool part Nice named folders. You know about GNOME 40. I did a video. They did change it a lot since then. And I can't wait till Dash is like this with Dash to Dock or even Floating Dock. That's going to be amazing. Uh, they did add this nice transparent look up here. So it's completely boxed. It looks great. Honestly, I think they should have some blur here. And it should show a desktop background. So you'll have this background, but here and just slightly blurred with some transparency i think that'd be amazing gnome still does need to evolve a lot like here they need more options for audio so it's a little more detailed and i think that would be really killer but yeah gnome 40 first off smooth modern looking vibrant rounded corners it's all about those rounded corners and let's jump in and take a look at the kernel and the kernel is 5.11.3 i'm sure they've updated it since then uh, Fedora 35, for sure, is going to come with the 5.12 kernel. You can actually test Fedora 35 right now. It's in the very early stages. I wouldn't do it if I were you. I really, really wouldn't. But if you want to, the branch is there to check out. Um, so new kernel, new version of GNOME. And the installer is pretty much the same. Um, they did default ship with Pipewire, which is nice. Uh, Pipewire is the new audio system that's replacing Pulse. Pulse Audio, and a lot of people have had issues with Pulse. Pulse is not very reliable, never has been, and it's a bit troublesome. So Pulse Wire, Pulse Audio actually didn't work too well with my audio device, and I know I, I, I do have good mic audio now, and everything's crisp and clean, but that's because of OBS. I still had major issues with Pulse Audio itself. Um, I had to turn on my high, my, uh, my DAC, to its highest settings and everything in the config. But with Pipewire, it's actually stuck in one config. You don't need to touch anything else. You can just jack up your settings to what they should be and you're good to go. Because believe it or not, I, many don't know this, but I actually purposely record in higher, why is it, it messed up my audio settings again. I had this at 192. I use 192.24 bit recording because I want to sound as clear and as clean as possible. And trust me, uh, from 16 bit to 24 bit, you can hear a difference. Same with from 4800 to 192, you can hear a difference. It's in the bass, it's in the uh, the tones, it's in the clarity. Uh, there won't be as much distortion, and just overall, it's better. So, really. There's not much to really talk about with Fedora 34. It's kind of a minor release. I think Pipewire is probably the biggest thing. Uh, Pipe, I believe Fedora 33 already did a default to uh, Wayland. So there's that. And we do have a new icon, I think. Is this a new icon? I think this is a new icon. 
uh, the folders are more presented now, so I can actually, I'm going to chuck everything in a folder here. Just let me just clean this up because this is messy. Oh, that is a new disk icon too. So maybe there's some new icons, which is probably for the best. Ugh, leave our office. I don't like installing extra bloat, but no, I actually, I leave that and that, and you can stay right there. So I like this though. The rounded dash looks nice. You can get that with floating dock right now in 3.38 GNOME. It's good. Uh, overall design of the file manager hasn't changed at all. Well, actually, I think it has changed. Let me take a look at that again. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's really compact. Do you notice that? It's like really compact. Because before it was really, really chunky and now it's compact. So that's. That's nice. Let's take a look in settings real quick. So I do want to go over as much as I can. Also really compact. Nice. Nice job. Looking good. Uh, fractional scaling should be here somewhere, but I don't have it right now. You go down, it will say GNOME 40 beta. We're on Wayland, of course, and virtualizations VMware. Uh, all the information's here. It's correct. Date and time still looks the same, even though, you know, we're not there. We're there. So that's my time. Default applications. I like that they have rhythm box. I really do. Live user. I'm going to just change this to a cat. Uh, nothing new in here. Okay. A double click delay. Okay. Nothing new there. Colors fine. Not calibrate it. I mean, they really need to replace this old junky user interface for Bluetooth. I hate known Bluetooth. It is so horrible. Always go and install Blue Man. Do yourself a favor. Because look, uh, there's my wireless controller, my Xbox controller, all that stuff. What is Blue Droid and where is it in this building? I'd really like to know because I want to connect to it. And then I want to play random death metal to whichever neighbor has it. And if I do that, and when I do that, I'm going to follow the music and I'm going to be like, dude, Name it to Blue Balls, not Blue Droid, just because I'm that guy, you know? Uh, backgrounds. Uh, there's a new background, as you can see. Oh, did they put in the new Fedora logo? Did they put in the new Fedora logo? We got to go test that. Wait, let me see. There is a new Fedora logo. No, they didn't. Come on, be more consistent. Uh, so backgrounds, nothing new for GNOME in terms of backgrounds. It's all the same crap that we've had for years. They really do need to hire a, a photographer to go around landscapes in America, Europe, or wherever, and just take some freaking pictures and replace all of this trash. Because honestly, as much as I find this beautiful, it's a bit dated when it comes to resolution. I mean, there's, there's, there's some detail here and there, but it does not catch my eye anymore, you know? Like, if you saw my desktop on my Windows machine real quick, this catches my eye. This is beautiful. The detail is just stunning. But the GNOME one is just like, no. No, we don't exist in this time anymore. All of this needs to be replaced. Uh, notifications have not changed. I mean, there's really not much to talk about. Uh, let me just open Fedora 34 changes and see if there's anything that needs to be presented. All right, let's take a look, shall we? So it enables BTRFS transparent ZSTD compression by default. All right, uh, routes all audio to pipe wire, as I told you. So system MD oomed by default for all variants. I don't know if I said that right. Boost has been upgraded. Uh, the MinGW environment and tool chain has been updated. GNU tool chain's been updated. Gulang, IBUS, all of this randomness. Don't know what half of this is. The Wayland by default for the KDE Plasma desktop. X Wayland as a standalone package. Uh, except that it's self contained changes. So there's GNOME 40 right there. LXQT016.0. Uh, Stop shipping individual Node.js library packages, okay? And XFCE 4.16. So uh, there's been quite a few things. So the system-wide changes you can see. So 
This might actually be good. Might be better compression. Who knows? Might be less disk space taken up. Honestly, and I, I, I think this is probably going to be a really good release. Okay. Uh, I've been testing it for the last couple of weeks on my main system. I just wanted to go and get a fresh install because my system looks totally different than what it is now. I actually ditched GNOME 40 and went straight back to XFC. It just, I needed to dock, right? I needed plank dock and I needed custom themes and everything. And uh, it's going to be a while before we get that back on GNOME 40. Maybe, hopefully they're updating that now. But those are the changes so far for uh, Fedora 34. I mean, I don't think they're going to do any more major ones before release because that's not who they are. But I really do appreciate GNOME 40 and I really do appreciate Pipewire and the 5.11 kernel, which has a bug with Ryzen CPUs. Uh, if you don't know the bug with Ryzen CPUs, it will show your incorrect maximum frequency. So it shows mine at 5.8 gigahertz. No, I don't want to blow up my CPU. So that's just a bug, just to let you know. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like the video. It helps the algorithm. It uh, gets my videos sped around more. So hit that like button like a furious monster. Uh, you want to subscribe for more Linux content, do so. I know there's been a lot of XEMU content. Trust me, that emulator is just on fire right now. Uh, I've been waiting for more raging stuff. I'm waiting for Vulkan. I'm waiting for the new uh, GUI that's coming. I'm waiting for a lot of changes that supposedly has been in the works for a while, but... There's that. So if you want to subscribe for Ray Jinx or Linux or Unreal Engine 4, do that. I think I'm going to get back to landscaping in Unreal Engine 4. I got a lot of stuff to learn. I want to be better placing trees, things like that. Subscribe and don't forget to join the community discord. Talk about whatever you want. We have a channel for Unreal Engine 4. We have a channel for emulation, uh, Linux, you name it, Mac OS. We got it. I'll see you there.